Hi, iPhone Tech for you here, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the cool new features and tricks and tricks with the Apple iPhone and Apple iPod Touch and iPhone 3G and 3GS 3.0 firmware update. Now, some of the features of the 3GS I will not be able to show you and will not know about. Because I am currently working with the, the first generation iPhone, okay? Now then, the first and one of the best tips and tricks of the in, and features of the new 3.0 firmware updates from Apple is this one here, okay? Now then, this is called Spotlight Search. Now again, using this app, if I just type any letter, it will automatically search for anything corresponding to that letter. As you can see here. Now you can edit the order that they're showing. So it's presets, I think, to show so contacts, applications, iPod, then your um, emails, and then change again. And then you can change that, like I said, just to get a second ago to a different order. Now, you can actually search whole words here to um, narrow down your search. Okay. Now, to get out of that, and to get, you just slide back across to get out, and slide across to get in. You can also press the home button to get in, and press the home button to get out. Another good feature I've found is if you've gone on to, say, a page like this, and you can press the home button once to go back to your home screen. Okay. Right then. Now, also, I've noticed with the 3.0 firmware before, the, the top of my iPhone here used to get rather warm after excessive use. It no longer does, thanks to the software, because it doesn't use as much RAM and memory. Okay. Right, that's that part then. Now, the next part I'd like to show you is the landscape mode. Okay? So, if I was to go into the messaging app here, that is the messaging app, and if I turn it, it does actually turn, and likewise, if I turn it the other way, it will turn. Now, also, if I was to actually go in and actually get the keyboard up, that is actually, as you can see, also in landscape as well as the portrait mode. Now, if we come out of that, I can actually show you that it is actually exactly the same with the in with the mail app so as you can see there it is actually turning round and is the same okay as you can see okay now the other cool feature is that before in the messaging app you'll notice that uh, the keyboard would faint and you'd get a white bar going along for sent instead it now comes along the top here okay next part now then the notes also has the landscape keyboard as does safari which it had before now there is also the landscape mode for the calculator so that's the calculator and if i turn it to landscape mode over here you do actually have scientific buttons okay right let's come out of that now there is also actually a landscape mode for the stocks app here is the stocks app and if I turn it around, you'll find that there is a landscape mode like that. Okay. Next feature is to do with the YouTube app on here. Now then, that is your basic YouTube app here. But you'll now notice that there is actually a more tab at the bottom there. If you select that, you have the option there to go into things that you haven't got along the bottom. You also have the option to edit what is on the bottom. Which before you could only do with the iPod, you could not do that with the YouTube, which you can do it with now. Okay, the next part of the good YouTube app part is there is the ability to press the sign in button here. If I do that, it does actually load a little box like this. Now with that I can sign in, then I can comment, I can review, and I can even flag things as inappropriate. Okay, right. The next cool thing is the ability to copy and paste. Okay, so if I was to go into, say, the notes app here, and if I was to just type in, say, hi, 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 whatever, 
So I just type anything in like that, yeah. Now then, the I can actually now just just press and hold the um until I get the bubble up. Then when that releases, you will find that you get a box up like this saying select, select all or paste. Now if you haven't copied anything since you last turned your phone on, then you won't get the paste button. I'm going to press select all and it selected all my text but if I just uh, move the pins over as you can see I now haven't done that now I can now I have the option to cut copy or paste I'm gonna click copy so now if I just return down to the next line I can actually just I can actually just get the bug get it up again like that and click paste and it's just pasted what I've just copied Okay, the next good feature is that I'm also going to show you within note. If I just take my iPhone here, I get this little box up saying undo paste or cancel. If I click undo paste, like that, as you can see, it has undone what I've just done. Now if I shake it again, there is the option to, do, to redo paste or undo typing to undo what is on the above line. Okay, that is very good. Now... That is just one of them. The next feature I want to show you is that you will actually notice that with the um, yes, with the iPod, you will now have the ability to search your iPod. So that is your standard iPod screen there. If I just scroll down a bit there, you yeah, don't have the search box there to search, although you can actually search with the spotlight search like I showed you. You also now have the ability to delete videos direct from the phone or iPod without connecting to iTunes. The way you do that is you just slide your finger along uh, along the video and you get the little delete button there. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Yeah, although you can't delete music there. That's a bit of a downside to it. Okay. Now the next good feature is voice memos which allows you to record voice memos using the buttons along here then you can um, if you click after you've finished recording you can just click the little button here and it will give you a list of your recordings and then you can share or delete them and you can put them onto speaker and then click done to get back into the memos and then obviously click home button to get back out of that okay now there have been some changes as well to the camera app so that looks pretty much the same but you'll actually see that instead of having the list a little picture of um, photos you will actually see there's a little box where your last photo will appear so I think that's actually a better design for it um, the um, settings has changed as well slightly and um, everything is in a slightly different order and there is actually the ability now to click the option of store at the bottom there so if I just go into that I can view the account or sign out and do whatever I like for the account that I links to iTunes on my phone okay right now the next good feature is the ability to multimedia message now that will be on the 3G and the 3GS but not the first generation iPhone so I can't actually show you that okay now the phone features um, the phone and messaging features obviously won't be on the iPod touch but the update is available for the iPod touch now this is a jailbroken iPhone, I don't know if I've already mentioned that, um, but if you want information on how to update and jailbreak, uh, you will find it if you look at my channel where there is another video about how to do that. I will be posting some videos shortly about how you can improve your battery life and other settings that you can set up and how to do that with your new update. Okay, this video is from iPhone Tech for you. Have a good day.